Ladies and gentlemen, I think I have found the fastest car on Daytona for grinding and it will give you 5.1 million credits an hour. In fact, you can see it there, 5 minutes, 57 seconds, 535,000 credits. For those of you that might not be aware, in the last update, the put bonuses on the quick races and this carried over to the custom races and the way you earn more money in the custom races is if you put yourself in a low PP car and beat higher PP cars and we've taken this to the extreme so we've gone in a Volkswagen Beetle you can also use a Jeep Willys Jeep whatever it's called and uh, the Eobar 595 swap the engines out and the game won't record the engines being swapped so it still thinks it's a low PP in the background not talking about what we see in the background for recording the value of the credits and that means we're getting ridiculous money for what essentially shouldn't be ridiculous money I think the next bit we could do is game the 950 PP plus car so in this case I've got the Tomahawk and you just put the gear ratios down to nothing and then the gap the car is maxing out at whatever speed you choose I think I ended up with around 180 mile an hour just so I could get past them on the first lap first slash second lap and then never worry about them again until the end of the race they're just gone because if you hit one you lose your clean race bonus if you hit one you're likely to spin out as well so there you go so let's walk you through how you get to this. There's four things you need. First of all, you need your crappy little car. Volkswagen, Jeep, a bar 595. You need to be level 50 to engine swap them. And level 50 to get a 200% race bonus on the quick race. You then need the gold circuit experience on whatever track you're on to get another 200% in this case it's Daytona it took me about 10 minutes to do we've done if you if you're struggling with it we've got we've done a video on it just to try and make things a bit easier for you and that's it so let's go through the tune and I'll take you through the race settings because they're important and then I'll take you through the actual race itself just the first lap how to avoid the Tomahawks and then the technique to get the 38 second lap that you can do. Right, first up, weight reduction stage one, get that on, that's all you need from the sports page. We are then gonna go to the club sports. I'm gonna put on a weight reduction stage two, and then confusing lap, we're gonna go to the ultimate tab, and put on the high lift camshaft, titanium cadetting rods, stroke up S, everything. Everything that you can get in the ultimate. Extreme, make sure you get the nitrous system. You can put the brakes on if you want. Polish ports, engine balance tuning from the racing tune, racing air filter, racing silencer. Brakes, you don't actually need the brakes actually, so you can ignore them. Suspension, racing clutch and flywheel, fully customizable racing transmission, and you're going to want the racing hard and racing soft tyres. Just missed off the racing exhaust manifold. You don't need the brake balance controller. I just bought it thinking, I mm, might need the brakes, but you don't need the brakes. Next up, we're going to go to semi racing. The racing crankshaft, you want that. Fully customizable computer, you want that. Weight reduction stage 3, do not get body rigid rigidity. I made that mistake. Get the fully customizable limited slip diff or LSD and I think that's it yeah. Just a nose now. oh no the high compression pistons bore up and I think that takes us up to uh, 534 horsepower and that's it you don't need power restrictor you don't need ballast game on right tune in 
racing hard tyres on the front, racing soft on the rear, so you're letting the front wobble around a lot, that's important. Body height, leave it as 125, 125. Roll bar, set it to 10. All your damping and compression, uh, compression expansion, set that to max, so 40 and 50. Natural frequency, set it to max again. Negative camber angle, you want 2.5 on the front, 5 on the rear, and then you don't want any toe angle at all. Limited slip diff, set that to maximum. Sorry for sounding nasally, I've got right cold. Uh, downforce, leave that at 100. You could probably drop it down to 90 or maybe 80 at a push. I'd leave it at 90 at minimum. Nitrous, set it to 100. Transmission, set it to 240. And then you're going to want to go in and manually adjust it. So just follow this, what I go through now. So, so you want to set it to 108, 185, 280, 353 and 422 and that's it next up take the brakes back off if you've bought them don't need any brakes on everything's set to racing uh, in terms of the intake and the exhaust brake balance controller doesn't matter and then we've already been through everything else so there you go that's the tune for the beetle let me show you the tune for the tomahawk straightforward 10 seconds here we go get it don't bother changing anything else, straight to the gear ratios, bring them all down so that the final 7th gear, sorry not the final, 7th gear is 316. You can mess around with the final at the bottom, it's up to you, three, just make it 316 and you'll be able to do the manoeuvres that I do shortly. Just before we get into the race settings, I'd highly recommend going into the controller settings and remapping your nitrous button from, I think it's L3 or R3, it's one of them, and set it to a button like R1 or triangle. I say it's a triangle. Buttons you're not going to use basically. And uh, it'll make it a lot easier on your pad because you know what uh, your analog sticks can go like after a while. Right, go to the world circuits. Go to Daytona International Speedway, and then you'll notice it says 400% on the left hand side. That's if you've got level collector 50 and the circuit experience. They both multiply. Try oval, and I'm just going to load up my settings. I recommend that you do too, because every time you go in, it goes to the default. So just save your settings. Buttons there on the left hand side. Number of laps, nine. Number of cars, 20 starting grid set it to 20 it'll be at 10 set it to 20 everything else keep the same until you get to nitrous usage multiplier set it to 10 times we then want to select rival selection select from garage change every car to the tomahawk it'll be a bit time consuming you have to change each individual one but once it's done it's done you've saved it you're fine. Rivals, difficult air, professional. And that is it. And then on the left hand side, it should say 357 grand. And if you get a clean race bonus on that, it's 533 grand. Uh, 35 grand. Right. Let me show you the, the opening lap of the race because it's an absolute nightmare. Reet, I've got this in manual, so I might mess up the gears but from start to finish you want to be pressing your nitrous all the way around in fact accelerating nitrous all the way around don't bother with anything else you want nice steady turns try not to go on the inside there if you're really struggling to maintain your thing gear just go to the outside and ride the wall catch it up so first of all you want to go to obviously slipstream them and they go around the outside they all cut in ride the wall if necessary it's probably the easiest way to do it and then as soon as you can cut in cut back out as we come round over the finish line and they're all going to move right again you want to find a gap to move left move back out to the right as you come to the corner and then you're through it's complicated it's touch and go 
after you master it, I was doing it every time and it's fine, don't worry about it. Right, so this is the fastest lap I've done. Foot welded to the floor, half a tank of nitrous left. Just keep going and then you want to bring the car smoothly into the left and then as soon as you hit the banking, you're steering as much as you can, keep steering, you'll hit the wall, you'll bounce back into the inside and then carry on straight. Same again for the next corner. Smooth entry in, wall, and just keep that steering wheel turned. If you are scraping along the wall, I recommend you check that you've not put on the body rigidity because that's what I was doing, and I was getting it for like 40 seconds as a minimum, minimum lap time. So it does actually take quite a bit out. And that's it, folks. Uh, it's dead easy. It's just making sure that you can get the engine swap. If you're ha not at level 50, um, you might have it in your garage. Uh, you know, the engine swap from six star roulettes. So it's always worth checking. Because if you can, there's that, you'll start building the money up quickly. Uh, you won't have the full bonus, but you'll have some sort of bonus. Uh, and, well, you'll be making two and a half million at least and then probably three minimum I'd, I'd, I'd say if you've got the, this car and you're some way through the game there you have it folks I hope that wasn't too uh, intense there's a lot going on to make this glitch work but there you have it right we shall see you all next time adios